Hello and welcome back to Red Gaming Tech for your daily dose of the latest gaming news of myself, Amata. Today is the 10th of September and I have some news for you today concerning Battlefield 4 and the PC version. As DICE has revealed the minimum and recommended specs for Battlefield 4. Now I'm going to go through the minimum and then the recommended and give you my thoughts. As for minimum, OS-wise, it recommends Windows Vista SP2 32-bit with KB971512 platform update. Processor-wise, AMD Athlon X2 2.8 GHz or Intel Core 2 Duo 2.4 GHz. Memory is 4 gigs RAM. A graphics card has to be AMD Radeon HD 3870 or NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GT. Graphics memory needs to be at least 512 megabytes and hard drive is 30 gigs. However, of course, the real specs, uh, the beefy specs, are the recommended and OS-wise they are recommending Windows 8 64-bit. Processor is AMD 6-core CPU or Intel quad-core CPU, 8 gigs of RAM for the memory. As for the graphics card, they are recommending AMD Radeon HD 7870 or an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660. Graphics memory needs to be at least 3 gigs and again 30 gigs for the hard drive space. So there you have it, the recommended and minimum specifications for the PC version of Battlefield 4. Now, what's interesting is that the minimum graphics cards recommended are actually quite low, so it's probably safe to say that if you can run Battlefield 3, you can fairly comfortably run Battlefield 4. Now, the recommended specs, of course, are quite a bit beefier, especially with regards to the graphics memory, but that could be just at the highest resolutions obviously if you're trying to do a say a 720p setup or something like that you might not necessarily need all of that power for example you probably only need that if you're trying to run at 1440 just for example at 60 frames per second but it will just remain to be seen until people actually get their hands on it. But unless you're trying to run at higher resolutions, I would assume that the 3 gig is more just say, yeah, look, if you want to have the highest resolution possible, this is what you need. It does seem odd as those graphics cards, I'm pretty sure the recommended graphics cards don't really even come with 3 gigs of video RAM. Um, but perhaps one of you can correct me on that. But I don't recall them having that, but perhaps I am wrong. Anyway, those are the specs that is me done for this video. And as always, do hit me up with any thoughts and opinions down below in the comments section. And I'll see you next time.